Hey everybody, Jesse here from DIY Home Check. Um, <clears throat> I think you, you heard I went over a, another video if you had a stick belt roof. I'm gonna climb up in here and I'll go over a quick video about a, a truss belt roof system. So if you're on this video, I assume you've identified your roof system as, as truss built, such as this, not stick built. If it is stick built and it doesn't look like this, it looks um, a lot more like it was built on site, then find the um, stick belt roof video and you you can review that. But this is gonna be for truss belt specifically. Not all homes are truss, not all homes are stick. It's region specific and sometimes in one region they'll have many homes of different types. Anyways, so this is on a truss belt. A truss belt roof system, um, basically the truss are prefabricated by a, a truss manufacturer and then they're put into the architect or the engineer drawing on how they should be erected. Then they're brought to site and they're put up. Um, and just, I'm just gonna go over a quick inspection here on just if you wanted to check your truss belt roof system just as a homeowner uh, without getting too technical on what the things to look for. Um, first of all, trusses will have a specific web pattern. You can see the specific web pattern. Trusses are beneficial because they are engineered and they can use less wood and sometimes be stronger than stick built. But it's very important because it's an engineered product to technically um, be installed properly and to be completely intact. If you don't have the original architectural drawing or blueprints for your home, it's unlikely you'll know exactly if they're installed correctly, if the cross bracing and everything's where it's supposed to be. But um, there's just some things that you can look for. One thing, just peek your head up here and look down all the webbing here and just make sure none of them are cracked or broken. Um, that happens a lot, especially if there's a big knot like right there, they'll crack or break, or especially if your home's been re-roofed, you'll have cracked or broke broken webbing here. Uh, if there is, then call a licensed uh, framing contractor and uh, they'll have to take care of it for you. Um, then check all these plates. These little silver plates right here should be at every every joint here. These are called gusset plates. Make sure that they're all intact. They're not peeling off. The board's not popped off of them. Make sure your gusset plates are intact. So let's go down one side. Look at all your, your struts and bracing or your struts are in your webbing here, make sure none of them are broken, make sure your gusset plates are intact. All right, and if you find any that's broken or gusset plates not intact, call a framing, a qualified framing contractor, because you, um, technically you can't just hammer it back together. There's a specific fix just for truss because they're engineered. Then go through and make sure it has some diagonal bracing. Yours may not look like this, all right, um, truss, uh, depending on the manufacturer of the truss, depending on the engineer drawings, depending on the framing crew, they might have, uh, there's all different types of diagonal bracing. The bracing, these diagonal strips here, serve a couple functions. Safety while erecting truss, because while they're putting them up before they sheathe the roof, the truss are kind of just hanging out here. Um, they help uh, uh, make the truss work together. So if there's a strong wind shear or load on them, it, it, it prevents them from racking uh, after the home's built and it just provides for more stability. So you might have blocking up here between the truss. You might have cross diagonal struts and bracing or bracing like this. Um, as the homeowner, you're probably not gonna be able to tell um, unless you have the blueprints if it was done exactly um, as they ordered. Um, just make sure you got some sort of a bracing um, present. All right, then uh, basically says truss are real easy. Make sure there's none cut into or notched. I'll show you on this roof, um, the security company decided to go through and they drilled every single truss out right here to run their security wires down to the other end for their security speaker. Uh, you actually can't do that. You cannot modify truss unless the modification is approved on the original drawings or from the truss manufacturer. So I doubt they got approval to, to put those holes through there. And you can even see this truss probably weakened a little bit and see it splitting right here. Um, so truss are the minimum amount of wood that you can do to build a roof, but it's super strong because um, the gusset plates and the webbing hold everything together. But if you start um, if you start notching them, drilling into them, breaking a gusset plate, um, they become very weak because these this truss roof is just two by fours. Very strong and it works together. Very weak if you start modifying it. So actually, uh, this house um, it's gonna. Unfortunately, um, a framing contractor or they can get a letter from the trust company that they may say this is okay or it may all need repaired, but do not drill through trusts for any reason. Or if you find holes through the trusts, make sure you call a framing contractor to come evaluate it further. All right, uh, that's all I have for about trusts. Super simple. They should be uniform. They should, uh, um, the gusset plates should be intact. Your, your, your webbing here, should, none of it should be cracked or broken. Um, 
that's as a homeowner, that's what your things you need to look for. Uh, a framing contractor, they're going to get a lot more in depth. But and I also don't recommend walking through an attic like this with bone insulation. There's nothing wrong with it if you're the homeowner, but you might put your own foot through your own ceiling. That's on you. All right, that's all I have. Make sure you check out the other videos and articles um, just about how to do some basic, just basic checks on your home, just to make sure what you're being told by contractors is generally right, or they're saying something way off, or and um, just to give your house a checkup every once in a while. All right, if you have any questions, make sure you can always message me on DIYHomeCheck.com, DIYHomeCheck.com. You all have a great day.